So I just wanted to show you this. Um, when you turn it on, it goes back to the previous unit that you had it left on. This is pounds and ounces, and then it goes to water, fluid ounces for water, fluid ounces for milk, grams by weight, milliliters of water, milliliters of milk, and back to pounds and ounces. Okay, I wanted to point something out that took me a minute to figure out. So, if I start the scale with something else already on it, now you gotta pay attention to this little button here, that little symbol. That means it's on scale weight. So now every time I add something to the scale and tear it, it'll go right back to zero. Tear it, goes back to zero. Okay, now, if I start the scale, it's turned on. Right now it's on scale weight. Now if I put another measuring bowl on here, it's at 282. Now look, I tear it. Now you see there's a T symbol there. That means it's on tear. And every time you hit the tear button, it'll go back to the original tally. Okay, so 282. 282 is the weight of this bowl. So if I add... Okay, so now it should be 306 because that's the total weight, right? 306, so that's the total weight of the bowl plus the, the beans. Now if I weigh it, uh, tear it, so now it should be 333 because it's going to be the total weight of the bowl plus this plus this, 333. So it'll just keep tallying up every additional weight. So that's when you're in the tear mode. And you can tell the tear mode by that little T right there.